Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Today we are going to purchase another product license. Um, a lot of people are telling me in the comment section, give me a lot of good information. I mentioned this last episode. I'm going to mention it again. You can, you can purchase these product license out of order. Now it doesn't really matter at this point because I've just got two more. Um, but if you have like six of them, you could purchase whichever one you want. Uh, some people say they purchase them because they don't like someone was saying in the comment section they're like I'm not getting anything that needs a freezer I don't want to deal with freezers and that's that you know so that hey that makes sense to me uh, pretty sound logic there I don't mind the freezers I like to do everything but you know I can't fault your logic it makes sense also a lot of people are saying that certain things sell better than others but I have no idea what's going to sell better now some people are saying that the beer and the lager and stuff does sell uh, better than a lot of other stuff you can make a lot of money on that and that does make sense. You know, you figure alcohol. Uh, you should have to purchase an alcohol license, an extra, by the way, when you do this. I guess that's included in this. But, yeah, we're definitely going to we're gonna buy this today. I'm going to run one more day, though, before we do that. And I'm also going to let uh, my product get pretty low. Uh, I, did I did stock up the cleaning stuff because, honestly, nothing's going to go here. Although I could make some room for something else. I don't know if we have another, another cleaning product anywhere. Um, vodka... Hummus, chips. Yeah, I don't see any cleaning product. Um, bullies, sandwich bread, rice, pepper, mashed potatoes, flour, chips. Uh, okay, so we got another kind of bleach right there. Maybe I'll just save that for when we do get that kind of bleach. Because that would be a perfect spot for that. But anyway, uh, some people wanted me to like turn these cash registers sideways. And you know, I tried and I didn't really like the setup. I'm going to try and remember at some point today when the store is not open to turn them and explain to you why I don't like the setup, but I'm not, I can't do it right now uh, because we're open and we got business to do. Oh, I forgot I did this. Okay, so I put a bunch of shelving in the middle of this room, and now I this, this room is starting to get organized as well. Some people are like, why keep stuff in the back? Why not just buy exactly what you need? A lot of times I don't want to micromanage. If I see, if I, see I need something, I just buy like a bunch of boxes and I'll deal with it. Uh, one cool thing is, it, let's say I need something. Let's say I need potatoes. What's easier? Potatoes stocked or I need potatoes. Let's go here. Let's go over to here. Potatoes. We got to order potatoes. Like, I'd rather have the stuff in the back, honestly. Um, so, hey, man, everyone plays their own way. Um, and that's great. But that's the way I like to play. We are definitely going to run out of a lot of stuff today. I also reorganized this. The pizzas are running out pretty quickly. Uh, let me check the price on these. Yeah, it's a decent price. Oh, I didn't check the prices before I started today. All right, we'll do that in a minute. Anyway, you got the pizzas here, the pizzas here. They were selling out pretty quick. And you got french fries, and then I've got um, these crab things, and then I've got some chicken, and the ice cream is over there. Uh, and Oh, yeah, let me show you this room. So this room's organized now. We've got coffee and teas. Uh, actually, I don't really have anything there yet. Right here is going to be eggs. These are all... Eggs and butter. <laughs> Those are eggs and butter. Right here we have cakes and sweets, chocolate, stuff like that. Um, there's sugar there. It's not totally organized, but it's, it's kind of organized. We have um, cleaning supplies there. Rice is just sitting there. Um, flour is just sitting there. Right here is where I'll put all my pastas. Right here is potatoes. This is um, toilet paper. Uh, this is fridge items. This isn't organized yet. Over here is where I'm going to keep all my freezer items. So you can see right here, I can't see what's in that box. It's irrelevant. I know this is freezer stuff. So honestly, I could probably guess what's in that box just by looking down here. It's not pizza. It's not, I know that's french fries. It's it's um ice cream. Yep. Yeah. So I'm starting to get organized back there, which is great. And I didn't have to spend a lot of money to like make the, the room bigger. Although I will have to at some point. But not right now. Not right now. So, I think that brings you guys just about at the speed. I don't think there's much for more for me to do except for stock. And honestly, I don't think I want to stock. I think I want to let stuff run out. Let's take a look at this license. Uh, you guys told me in the comments. I did read the comments, but I'm sorry. I totally forgot what goes where. Um, the keg and the six-pack go on the shelves, right? And then the ale goes in the fridge. Uh, beer. Is that lager? No, that lager. I'm not sure what that is. It's just tech... Chew. I want to say it's like, I don't know what the heck that is. Anyway, <laughs> vodka is probably going to go on the shelf. So um, if I had to guess, I would say we're looking at probably about one, two, three, seven. We're probably looking at five shelf items and two in the fridge. 
So we're going to have to find some more shelf space, unfortunately. Uh, and that's going to be tough. This, I mean, there's no extra shelf space here. There's, I mean, I could move the bleach if I really need to. Um, there's no extra shelf space there. There's none here. Uh, we have one spot right here that I kind of just put some backup stuff in there. Uh, we have one here. So that's one, two, and possibly three. Oof. That is going to be tough. I don't know what to do about that. Um, ah, whatever. That's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Let's get some stuff in stock. Do I have any, um, muscle milk back here? Let's see. Did I really use all muscle milk? You know what? We'll stock anything. We're supposed to be letting stuff get down. Okay. Uh, let's check if we have any bills. Ew. And now we're just playing the waiting game. All right. So let's see how that day went. Okay. You know, I mean, 3,800. Not going to lie. That's not bad. All right. Scallop, cake, and apple juice. Scallop? Is that this stuff? I'm not sure. Yeah, it does look like it. Uh, cake and apple juice. Cake and apple juice. Uh, apple juice. Three. And cake. I didn't see which cake. Oh, definitely that cake. I'm going to look at them all, though, just to be just to check. Uh, yeah, 181. Sounds good. $3, 317. I can live with that. Let's do it, guys. I'm freaking pumped. Another license. Pay the bills and get the license. There we go. Market. All right. Do that. And this stuff should all be at the bottom. And what was it? Seven things. One. Yeah. Six, seven. Okay. So, um, okay. So shelf, shelf, fridge, fridge, shelf, fridge, shelf. Oh, okay. All right. So it's a little bit more in the middle than I thought, which is probably going to be a good thing. I have more. I have more wiggle room with my um, with my fridges than my shelves. All right. Let's see. What we got here. All right. So that's a beer, and that goes in here, right? No, that's a shelf item. Okay. I'm gonna have to think about where I want to put this stuff. Let's just look at it all first. All right. So that's um chips. That's definitely a shelf item. And more chips. Were those COVID chips? <laughs> it's messed up. All right. And what is that? Oh, okay. So does this go in the fridge? No. That's a shelf item as well. Oh, those are like little mini kegs. All right. So those are all three shelf items. Yeah, they're like little mini kegs. So I'd like to put the beer in the same spot. And I might even put the chips in around the beer. It makes sense to me. And I know that's open. It's okay. What are these things? All right, so these are definitely going... In, yep, okay. Where am I going to put them? I don't know. I'm going to make that decision off camera. Because I'll probably, you know, have to really go around and think a lot. And it's not fun to just watch me think in silence. <laughs> so these are definitely both refrigerator things. And this is probably refrigerator. Oh, wait a minute. Did I count those wrong? Hold on. Oh, no, I didn't order everything. Okay, I was going to say that's not seven items. All right, so the last item is right there. So two... And two. And that's a fridge and a shelf. Oops, maybe I should order it first. That could, you know, that could go a long way towards uh, making the store run smoothly. Okay, so this is the, um, that's a shelf item. Yep, just making sure. Alright, so there's all my booze and my chips. I think that's four things. So, I have to figure out how we're going to do this. This, is, this has got to be the last license I buy before I... You know, before I, um, what are these? I'll take a look at them. This will definitely be the last uh, license I buy before I expand the store. Although I said that last time, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got everything all organized. Um, by the way, when you let your stock go down like I do, it takes a long time to restock. An absolutely ridiculous amount of time. I can't wait for that restocker update. Okay, so my freezer stuff is all pretty much the same. Um, this stuff is all pretty much the same. Uh, if you look over here, okay, so I moved butter and yogurt over here. Butter and yogurt does not sell enough to need an entire row, although I still rather them have an entire row. I have to make cuts. So I moved the butter and the yogurt up here. I also moved the potatoes over here and I moved the rice over here. 
And this is basically still my food prep aisle. Um, the rice kind of doesn't fit in here, but I need something in here. And I guess it fits in better than anything else. And then over here, we still got the condiment aisle. It's looking fa it, it just looks good. That That's a good looking aisle right there. Um, also over here, I have coffee. I did split the tea up. Uh, in my game, the tea is not selling enough to warrant an entire row. Although, again, I would like an entire row, but we have to make cuts. Uh, the price is pretty competitive, too. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I move the cakes over here. The same thing with the cakes here. I doubled these up. These sell a little bit more than the tea, but I got to double some things up, and this is, the, this is the option I went with. So I moved all my pasta down here, and over here is all the booze. Okay, we got our kegs, we got our vodka, I guess that's just beers, and we got chips um, for the booze. And I wanted all the booze in the same area. I also wanted it in the back of the store. Why? I don't know. I just did. So because all the booze is right here, I also put the rest of the booze in here. And it's not perfectly done yet. I have to get rid of some of this yogurt, and eventually it'll be an entire thing of booze here on the red. And this will be an entire green thing of booze. I guess it's just beer. I'm not a, I'm not a like a, a booze guy, so I don't know. So I did put the hummus right here, and I'm not, am I saying it right? Am I saying, is that hummus? What is hummus? It's like a dip, right? I don't even know what it is, but I put it right there. And everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, one thing I want to do before we move forward is um, somebody asked me, actually people keep repeatedly asking me to put this in here. You can't put this in here. It doesn't let you. It never has. I don't know if it ever will. I hope it does, but it doesn't let you put it in there. It doesn't let you put it out here. So I'm just going to put it over here for a very temporary thing. Okay. And I'm going to turn these guys sideways. So this is the the cash, the cash cashier register thingy, the cash register. And my, my, my setup is not perfect, but I think it's a little bit better than the other way. The other way you would set this up is, I don't even know how you would do it. You'd have to do it like, like right here, I guess. The thing is you'd lose a lot of space setting it up like a real you know, um, a real grocery store because you'd have to have this set up like this and the people, you'd have to leave room between each cashier for people to walk through. I might be able to do that at some point, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think it takes up less space just doing it like this. It's definitely not perfect. And I'll, I'll mess around with it when I, when I expand my store again. Um, but for now, I think it's good like that. All right, let's put this back and let's open the store. All right, looking good. And this place is pretty stocked back here. I've got my um, my potatoes, my paper towels. Um, this is stuff like uh, sushi and things like that. Uh, this is all my frozen stuff. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. I'm trying to keep it organized. It's kind of hard. We're going to have to open this up again. Let's go see how much that would cost. Let's take a look. Uh, we should also pay some bills. There we go. All right, uh, storage. So it's still a four by four. I think we'd want to buy both of these at once. Although, honestly, it's not that expensive. I probably should. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll think about it. I mean, be a bad idea. The thing is, it's just not something I need. It would make things a little bit easier, but it's not something I quote unquote need. You know what I mean? Can I fit another cash register in here somewhere for myself? So let's buy another cash register. We're going to have to at some point. So, although it probably won't be for a long time, but whatever. I don't know why I went over there. It's right here. All right. Cash register. Can I? I don't even know. I don't even think I can fit this in here. Uh, nope. Nope. Not even close. Okay. Anywhere? Can I put it anywhere? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. All right, fair enough. Whatever. We'll save it for future use. I'm sure I'll use it again at some point. I really don't want to fire any of my guys. I'm, I guess I'm going to have to at some point because I got to work on my register thing. Although, well, actually, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can get my next cashier at store level 50. And I'm honestly, it's coming up pretty quick. Do I really want to fire somebody? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I will ring people up as well. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. Oh, what was wrong with you? Uh, it's too expensive. 
Oh, come on. What the hell? I'm not going with more. I'm not going with other than 50 cents, man. Forget that. Now, can I box one of these guys up without? No, I don't think I can. I was wondering if I could box one of them up so they would stop ringing people up and I could ring people up without firing them. Uh, but it's better off to just fire them. Because otherwise, you're just going to be paying him $80 a day for no reason. It only costs $100 to rehire them. So if, if you pay him two days in a row where he's not doing anything, you've lost money. All right, that makes sense. Um, what's too expensive? What was it? Was it the, the mayo? Uh, no, it can't be the mayo. Maybe it was the salt. Yeah, I guess maybe it was the salt. All right, 250 that's fine. You gotta sell product. Oh, you boozer. <laughs> I'd be terrible, like, store owner. Calling the... Calling the... <laughs> calling the people buying my stuff. Lushes and stuff because they're buying my stuff. No. Well, it is what it is. Oh, the, right there, too. We gotta get rid of those cakes. I'm waiting for those cakes to go. Or maybe if I can move them over there at some point. Buy those cakes, lady. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Buy the cakes. Guys, buy a bunch of salmon. Oh, you know what would be nice if we could. I mean, I guess I could do it myself if I wanted to do the work, but I don't. Um, it would be nice if there was a um, an average, like how much each customer paid. You know, again, I could probably just do it pretty easily with a calculator, but I'm not going to because I mean I, I care, but I guess I don't care that much. <laughs> Does it really matter? I think you get the same amount of customers every day anyway, right? It's always around forty to fifty. I'm pretty sure I always get fifty. I don't know, maybe that's not right. Alright. Guys buying a lot of stuff. I like I like them. 150. Have a good day, sir. Now we do have to worry about the you know what? I might not even worry about running out of potatoes anymore to hell of it. I can't be jumping over counters trying Oh my goodness. Someone's having now that's a party. That's not just her. At least I hope not. She's got a problem. 70, 1, 2, and 50. It'd be nice if we could have, like, days of the week at the store. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. And then, like, maybe it's busier as, like, the week weekends come or whatever. Seven, three, whatever. Flour's fine. Ooh, french fries. And I don't care what that says. It says it's mayo. I don't care. It says it's mayo. I'm calling it honey mustard sauce. And french fries and honey mustard sauce is not the worst idea I've seen in this store. Kind of like that. Yeah, I don't want to just dive into these freaking maxi cones, although it's a terrible name, but it makes me think of feminine products, but... Right, let's go ahead and turn this on. Hold on, I want to check. Does it really say M-A-X-I? Yeah, it does. Okay. Alright. It's, you know, makes me think of Mr. Poop. Um, what was that chocolate chip? Oh, that was nothing to lose. That was nothing to lose. Remember the guy came in, he was like, he was trying to like promote cookies and he's like, he had this chocolate chip cookie walking along and little chocolate chips are coming out of his butt and he was like, a, and they were like leaving like behind the cookie and he was like, oh, it's a chocolate, ra it's a chocolate chip rainbow and he's, and he goes, it just looks like poop. <laughs> if you haven't seen nothing to lose, you definitely should. I'm not a huge fan of Martin Lawrence. Um, but he was really good in that. And he, I can't remember the other guy's name. You know, Andy Dufresne? I can't remember his name. Darn it, what's his what's that guy's name? He was a tall drink of water. I'm getting my I'm getting my movies mixed up. I'm talking about Shawshank Redemption now. But Yeah, I can't remember his name. It doesn't matter. It was a good movie. Go watch it. Also, the other Martin Martin Lawrence movie I like, I don't remember the name of it, but it was the one where he was the bank robber. And then he like he he was like faking being a cop. I don't remember the name of it, but that was really good. I don't know. Maybe I do like Martin Lawrence. Maybe I haven't seen enough of his stuff. Could very well be the case. This is the kind of conversations I'd have with people at the store I was working at when I used to work at the bagel shop. You know, talk about movies and stuff. And uh, Milk is too expensive, huh? Really? Really? Oh, come on, you cheapskates. Come on. Don't be so cheap. People are buying a lot of booze. The thing is, you don't make a lot of money on it. Like, at least not per... Per bottle. That's definitely... Booze is definitely going to have its own layer. Because I'm, I'm sure it's going to go pretty quickly. Relatively. 
I, I don't like having milk not have its own thing, but I don't know where else to put the hummus. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with that. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I put the hummus with the tuna fish. That, that might actually be a good idea. And that would be really, that would be really easy. So I just take the hummus out of here. I put the tuna fish like the top two or three. You know what I don't like about splitting these up? They're not even, right? There's five shelves. So if I go to split it up, you can't split it up evenly. That drives me up a while. You know, that might be the main reason I don't let... Now that I think about it, I think I just had a, a breakthrough. I just gave myself a therapy session, and I think I know what's going on now. I think the reason I don't like breaking up the fridges is because they're not even. If they had six shelves, I'd probably be a lot more okay with it. Huh. What do you know? <laughs> I, just, I just had a breakthrough. And everything's looking good here. Yeah. Yeah, everything's looking real good. Making some serious money now, too. Next stop, guys. $16,500. And we're going to get another expansion. What's the expansion after that cost? Take a look. Um, growth. Yeah, growth. So sixteen five, twenty. So sixteen five and then twenty, twenty one. Why? Why twenty thousand one hundred developer? I'm just. I'm kind of curious. That, that's just weird to me. How many people did I ring up? Yeah, not a lot. I mean, I might have to fire the second guy too. It just sucks being able to hire three of these guys and only be able to use one. If I want to ring anybody up myself in any real. Maybe maybe I'll just maybe I'll just ring I'll just stay on the third register and when I start getting closer to store level fifty then I'll fire the other guy and really make a go for it. All right, let's see how that went. A lot of people found stuff expensive. Thirty five hundred dollars is not a lot either, considering a lot of people are like your total profits down. You're not making any money. No, that's not really the way things work. Um, basically, because I buy extras, what I do is I just put it in the back. So maybe I'll spend. You know, seven thousand dollars in supply cost one day, but then only spend like a thousand for the next week or something because I have extra stuff in the back. Um, also, that supply cost was probably the upgrade. Yeah, that supply cost inclu included buying the license. So, oh no, maybe no upgrade cost. Wait, upgrade cost. What did I upgrade? The license was like twenty five hundred dollars. I'm not all right. Whatever. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Mayo, black tea, beer, and chicken. Mayo, black tea, beer, and chicken. Mayo, black tea. Uh, let's go with 550. Beer. Which one? I don't know. It's not that one. It's not that one. There. Oh, man, you're killing me. Oh. Damn, that sucks. Dude, I, I lost like almost $2, almost $3 in... Wow, that's weak, dude. Market price of $9.46 or $8.45? Come on. I'm, I'm so annoyed I can't I can't remember what the last thing was. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I got to ring people up like crazy. You'd think I wasn't the boss of this place. What's going on, buddy? How's it going? All right. No change. Thank you. Exact change, man. You are awesome. Uh, looks like the place is starting to get a little light. I ran out of white pasta. Spaghetti pasta, whatever it was called. Um, I ran out of hummus, which, you know. Yeah, see, this stuff ain't really... The tuna's not really selling, and I'm, I actually got it marked pretty well. I think I'm going to do three things of hummus and two of tuna. Although I'd really like to have, like, everything to have its own thing. But we'll, see, we'll have to see how that goes. Go, and that's all off of there. That's beautiful. Put all that there. Let's put these cakes away. And let's order some pasta. We know we can't order it yet. I'm going to set it up there. So that's um, four boxes just to fill the shelves. So I'll go with... All right, fine. I'll go with four. You don't like me ordering extra stuff. Um, do we have any red pasta? I think we do. Yep, right here. We're going to want to order one box of this. All right, so one box of the red pasta. We don't need any. I'm calling it red, white, and blue. <laughs> America's pasta. Um, yeah, the the red pasta, the white pasta, and the blue pasta. We don't need any blue. All right, cool. Uh, actually, I think we have a box back here of the blue. Let me. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Maybe we do need one of the blue. 
All right. America. Here in America, we order all three things of pasta. Awesome. All right, let's see how that job went. How that day went. All right, 4,300. So, 4,300th does not seem like a lot. I mean, I've gotten 4,200 before. I want to be over $4,000 every day at this point. Like, I just feel like buying the licenses, it's really inching me up. It's not, it's not going up as much as I thought it would, but that's okay. At least it's more. Pasta elbows and cake. All right. Uh, 750. Maybe I should really start going for the market average or even below. I mean, at this point, it's not, it's not a terrible idea. I don't know. Maybe it would help. Um, uh, so three, I'm not doing 388 though. I'm ringing people up. I'm not giving that kind of change away. I don't care. That's not going to happen. And going 350 is way under, so I'm not going to do that either. All right, cool. Well, guys, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stock, stock, and stock some more. Maybe run a couple more days. Uh, I don't want to say for sure, because you never know what's going to, you know, happen. But as of right now, I have every intention of having well over $16,000 and expanding the store again next episode that's what i'm going to be going for i don't see how that could really be a problem i think we're you know i hope we're going to be making four thousand dollars a day now which would make that a lot easier so um well hell of a lot easier not gonna lie but um i'm gonna work hard we're gonna get there if you guys end up enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button that like button oh my goodness uh it's been a long day uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.